Good morning, Blaine, Jessica. The VA just releasing very recently their latest numbers when it comes to veterans' mental health, and they found that veterans are 50% more likely than non-veteran adults to commit suicide. And local clinics in the Hampton Roads area are really feeling the effects of this. I spoke with one clinic who says they've had to double their services in the past year. That's the Stephen A. Cohen Military Family Clinic at the Up Center. They also added that the ending of the Afghanistan war is a large contributor to this. Veterans say they want people to remember the Afghanistan war and know that for a lot of service members, it still doesn't feel over. And there's ways that you can support them, such as flying a flag. It's flying the flag. Honestly, when I drive through a neighborhood and I see flags on the front of houses or flagpoles or when I see flags flown in front of businesses and um, when they do fly them according to policy that they put them up in the morning and they take them down in the evening, I just think that's so respectful um, that I appreciate that. It feels like an honor to me as well uh, because it means so much to me. I so what are some other ways that the community can support veterans and active service members who are struggling this year? Well, according to the Cohen's Veterans Network's 2021 survey, two in five Americans feel more inclined to show support for service members following the war, which is great news veterans say. So they asked thousands of veterans how they can best be appreciated, and they actually said that being thanked by strangers makes them feel more divided from civilians. So as she mentioned, flying a flag is very helpful. They also appreciate when you support a family of a veteran or an active service member as they believe that they serve alongside them, buying them a meal or donating to a veterans organization. We're live in Virginia Beach, Penny Commit News 3.